What up Long Beach, welcome back to your home for everything local sports, it's JJ. And Mike, and this video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. We've got two of the top five high school football teams in the nation in St. John Bosco and Modern Day. One of those teams won the section and state title last year. It's the same team that's ranked number two this year. <laughs> I think the question we've gotten the most of this off season from not just from fans, but from other reporters or people who do rankings around the country is Bosco or modern day, who should be number one? And the answer that's come out almost unanimously across the country from Max Preps, from Cal High Sports, and from the preseason uh, coaches poll from the CIF Southern section is that modern day is favored over Bosco this year. And I have to say, I totally don't get it. And I know this is a larger issue that you have with polls that come out before games are played. I just hate, I, the preseason <laughs> polls are the worst things in sports. What are you basing it on? It could be based on last year. It could be based on what you saw at practice this week. It could be based on what you think is gonna happen in the championship game at the end of the season. Do you think all the people voting on that poll are feeling the same way about that <laughs> criteria? Probably not. And if you are going to move the runner up over the champion, you have got to give me a better reason than Okay, give me a reason. Well, I, I think that's the thing you and I, as we've talked to people who've done these rankings, what we just keep seeing, I just flat out don't see it. Bosco over the last four years is five and one against modern day by a margin of plus 79, but you don't really have to look back that far. Last year, eight months ago, we were at Angel Stadium watching Bosco absolutely grind the Monarchs down. They ran 62 times for 405 yards on six and a half yards per carry and scored five touchdowns on the ground. And guess what? Almost everyone involved with that is back. The quarterback is back. Almost the entire offensive line is back. The best running back, in my opinion, is back in Demetrius Flowers, and he's joined by George Halani, who now has UCLA offers and other Pac-12 interests. So I just don't see, I certainly understand people thinking Modern Day is a very good team and worthy of being number two in CIF and top five in the country. I just don't understand what happened between that game and now that makes people think, well, but Modern Day will get him this time. I know this sounds ridiculous coming out of a journalist's mouth, but is this headline driven? Are we talking about a JT Daniels versus Real Mitchell pick? I kind of think that the love for JT Daniels and his status as a recruit is certainly one of the drivers of this. Because if you look at who's a better football team, like we talked about with that game in December, the fact that Bosco has got 27 Division I athletes and basically got better at every position group than they were the team that beat Modern Day last time. I don't really know what else you would use to justify the pick. Let's say, for sake of argument, that you were gonna take, I don't know, let's say the last four or five years as a microcosm on this whole poll, and you're like, which team was better recently? Which team deserves to have the edge going into the season? How about the team that's won two state titles in said time <laughs> Frame. How about the team that's hung multiple banners in their gymnasium in said time frame? How about a team that went on a 20-0 run in the highly touted Trinity League? I certainly don't understand. One thing that has not factored into this, there's always going to be a certain amount of hype around big name programs like Modern Day. But it is really interesting to take a step back and think about the fact that they have not won a CIF championship since their tie against Long Beach Poly in 1999. Polly, I think, has won four CIF championships since then. Bosco has beaten Modern Day twice. Modern Day has lost their last four CIF championship appearances, including one to Polly, one to Los Al, and two to Bosco. So there's, to me, also a question of that, that this Bosco program has obviously shown that once they hit November and December, they really know what they're doing and they've had a great record. My question is, and I don't think there's an answer, what would Bosco possibly have to do to be number one coming into this season? One way or another, we're obviously already excited about that October 13th matchup between the Braves and Monarchs and very possibly the December matchup at Angel Stadium as they might end up playing in the CIF Championship for a third time in five years, which is pretty unbelievable. If you'd like to weigh in on this and let us know if you think it's the Braves or Monarchs who should be at the top of the rankings to start the season, get at us on Twitter at PT Gazette Sports or hit us up on Facebook, Press Telegram Gazette Sports. Thanks as always to all of our sponsors, including Papalucci's, a great place to eat at Second Street. Stick with us all season long. High school football and everything else high school athletics is gonna be right here at gazettesports.com and the Press Telegram.